Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? When Brynjolf brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. What's Carlia been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor, oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises. Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? When will you open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours? Both of us lie, cheat. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale blood. I can't believe it's over. 25 years in exile, just like that. It's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum, the only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other way. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this brew almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. <laughs> <laughs> 